Hey guys, welcome to another Getting Personal. Uh, today's topic is uh, pretty close. Well, they're all pretty close. These are, these are things that I like to uh, discuss with you guys. Um, they're unscripted. They're pretty much whatever's happening in my life um, I like to talk about or things that uh, on, on kind of like I think you guys might benefit that I've kind of overcome or looking to challenge myself with. Um, but today's topic is mental breakdown. It sounds fun, doesn't it? Um, I recently just went through a mental breakdown and something that what I've realized is I just want to discuss you know, why, why do you have one? Um, what, you know, what led you up to this? Uh, things like that, what people, you know, it's kind of, like they closely relate to almost anxiety attacks, but not quite, but mental breakdowns are an instance of um, everything's like, you need in life, they say, I, I saw something that your left and right brain are trying to communicate with you. So in a sense, you, you do something in your life to cause a massive mental breakdown. I, I recently did that. Um, I did something that would break me and then you, you go over, you break down. Sounds fun, right? Um, and you, you come on the other side of it a different person. Like literally, I feel now I can actually see things differently. I can hear the words that people say differently. I'm taking in information differently. Where I was viewing it, I was still viewing it behind a veil of my own understanding, which was closed off. And I realized that, so in my life, I, cut all these personal addictions and what I could to to unveil, reveal who I am. So I discuss things like porn and getting over all that stuff. And I, I know with life that you can numb your emotions and that simply it's, um, you ignore what you, what your purpose might be or the connections that you might have with other people. And so not to go off too off topic, I know with my life, I'm quite strict with everything I do. I'm quite strict with my, my eating, with my regiments, for everything around myself. But emotionally for me, I was still like closed off. And the final thing was to break myself. And I needed to do that myself. And believe it or not, I had an internal thing um, wanting me to have a mental breakdown because I needed a reset for myself. I knew that what I was doing was still not quite on the right direction that I needed to go. And I needed to literally break down so then I have a catalyst and a fire behind me. Uh, the drive of absolute pain, right? So this, they say in life that you have two factors that will drive you and it's either love or pain. And so with me, um, I've separated from my partner and then you don't have love anymore. And the thing is, I did those, I, did, I separated for whatever reason that I felt and I don't know what it was, um, but I felt there was something not happening with, with me or with whatever that current situation is. And so maybe with that, I needed to, I know for my, the reason why I did it really was to, it sounds corny, is to find myself. And I knew in a relationship, I don't know if you can find yourself, in a relationship because you're considering another person there. They're very close to you. It's a different vibe if you're not, like friendships and things like that, you're not so emotionally invested um, and you need to step away from whatever current situation. And sometimes you're so emotionally invested with somebody that you need to just separate and just see what happens from there. 
Um, but I mean, you could always come back together at, at a later stage. But I know with me, I needed, it's like a thing that I needed to happen. And I know I'm going off topic, but it all ties into it. And so the, the course of events that's happened to me is that I needed to separate from my partner to then go down this path of finding myself and then getting the mental breakdown aspect at the, the part that I needed it to then it's the final like, well, I wouldn't say it's the final thing, but I guess it's one of the things that you need to accelerate movement. Because there there's a lot of like ideas that I have kicking off and I'm like, I should do that and I write it down and then it's, it starts really slowly and I, I just want to accelerate that. And I think I, I tend to then get comfortable with what I'm doing. I'm like, yeah, I'll get work, um, something will come in and then I get comfortable. But then I need a catalyst to, to go, hey, like you're, you're just procrastinating on these ideas that are going, you're going to get more joy from those things. You're going to be excited to wake up every morning and you're looking forward to doing those things. And that's what you need. I think a lot of people, they, they tend to, people have anxiety attacks because they're just like taking on too many things and they're not speaking up and saying, I can't handle this or like, there's various things that an anxiety attack will say. It's like, you're not doing the thing that is right for you. Um, you're doing something incorrectly. You're processing things incorrectly. Your view on things is incorrect. Like, it's like, there's so many complications and who knows where people sit. Because everyone's at a different level. Everyone's different thoughts. And in, in life, you have a weird aspect of you if you're not doing what you enjoy, you tend to then go towards external things like drinking or like smoking and you numb yourself and it only has to be minute and it's enough to get you over the line and you can keep doing it and doing it and doing it. And I know with me, I definitely cut everything out that's like this external enjoyment and it was really extreme, but I felt I had to, because then I can, so I can slowly introduce certain things, but I know now, looking on the other side, like I know with um, certain addictions and things like that, I mean, you can do little things here and there, but then you tend to slip, and you have to watch those things. But going back on topic that, Getting a mental breakdown and breaking down is the best thing. Because whatever, you can't see it, it might be an external thing that caused it and you did it. And but the thing is what you hold is the feeling and the emotion from it, from what that feels like. And having that like snap sits with you and it, I don't think it's going to disappear because it's like it's almost like you're a little kid again and it's like your parents told you off for something and you hold on to it and you don't ever forget it and you're going to hold it and hold it and hold it and so with a mental breakdown you hold it and whenever you question why you're doing a thing or um, you get upset about how difficult something might be. You feel that feeling and then that gets you out of the line. It pushes you forward. And I, I believe the only reason why I had it is because I, I, I just pushed myself too far. So far that I needed to have a reset, like going to the computer and resetting. And it wasn't, like people can have like a mental breakdown and they commit suicide. Mine was like, you even, you question your life and you're like, well maybe, but then it's so quick that it resets and you're good again. But some people can have a mental breakdown and that's it. They, they go so far 
and even in the anxiety attacks and things like that. That's almost they're real, very close, closely related. But um, they go so far and they keep pushing and pushing and pushing, and like the break is not necessarily big enough, or they just the way they the way I looked at my reset was. I, I'm that type of person, I don't do things little, like I don't do things small. So I guess maybe in my instance, I'm not going to gradually go through it and let it, like, I'm going to like play with, you know, maybe I'll have an anxiety attack or a mental breakdown. I'm just going to have it. I'm going to go, hey, let's do it and do it well. And so like, I like to do things big and grand. Um, which is, it's not a, I wouldn't say it's a, it's a bad thing, but it, I think you, I like to get things done and just have them and yeah, I've, uh, you know, like I've gone through it and back on track. Because like, um, I think uh, after you have one, you want to take like, take some time, but I don't feel like I need to. I, I feel there's a saying that, uh, you know, you just, the quicker you get back on that horse, right, you keep going. Um, I could just waste time thinking about what happened and what, how stupid I might have been, but it wasn't how stupid I was, because I needed it. I wanted it. And I could say to myself that I didn't need it, I didn't want it, because that's my self trying to rationalize myself even though I have to realize I'm pretty irrational to begin with. And realizing whatever that was, I have to question it all the time. I have to question where that came from. And I have to fall in love with it. And that's a weird thing to think about, right? to fall in love with your breakdown. But I think that's the best thing you can have in life. That, that's, it's almost like a gift to yourself. And it's worth, it's priceless. Like it, you could not, you could see a therapist for like years and years and years and not get what you get from a breakdown. Um, cause it's like so intense that there's no other instances in life that push you to such a high intensity an extreme intensity where it's like you've put, you've put like octane inside your car and you blew up the engine, almost just blew up the engine, almost. And you've just revved it and revved it and revved it and just flat go flatline it and you're just bouncing up that rev and, going, and you're just pushing and pushing and pushing and just doosh, like I don't know you hit a wall instead of blowing your engine and it stops you for a bit and you're having to shake it off you're really having to shake it off but it's only a dent and that's all it is um, and when you think of it like that and I'm still processing it so as I even tell you, I'm processing and building up a good analogy to process that. And I just consider it a dent. Like it's not, it's not going to stop me. And that's like, it's like pushing me, pushing me. And that's what I want. I want more dents. I want to be as dented as possible. Perfection is just insanity. And we, when we strive to like be perfect and everything else, everything must be in this way of like getting things right, it's the damage that we have in our lives and the fear that we go into, we face the fear and failing and all this crap that feels like absolute shit is what gets you going. It's like you needed it. 
And I think for anyone out there who feels like they're procrastinating or they're stuck or they're doing something, it's you have, you have to take out all the things in your life that will numb you, that you think you're using as a crutch, right? Because something will happen, you're no longer numbing those emotions and feelings, or you're occupying yourself with the wrong stuff. Something will break, and you don't know when, but it will come, and it will come at a point where you needed it the most. Your body tells you what it needs. It will do it. It will sabotage you in such a way. And that's where those mental breakdowns come from. Like you'll sabotage your relationship, your finances, um, something like you'll do something that will push you to, to something. Um, this is where it's like your body or well, your brain is telling you to do it and you do it, and then boom. So you have to question what, what you're doing. And I found maybe if I get rid of all the little, little numbing things, that I'll do something really big to sense of self-sabotage, something that was keeping me in a numbed, slightly numbed state, to not sit and really accelerate myself beyond beyond what my current status and mindset is, to push me more and more. Like I needed, I needed to be pushed more and more beyond what I can currently see. And that's how I got it. But um, the mental breakdown is a long video. I don't know if any of you guys watch it, but me just talking to you guys, I hope you get uh, something out of it and you enjoy it. Um, if you ever get a mental breakdown or a sense of an anxiety attack, just remember, you gotta welcome it. Don't act on any thoughts or craziness that will come from it. Um, and if you need help, call someone. Don't, don't let it sit with you um, because you'll probably do something stupid and you're highly emotional when you're in that state when those things are happening. Um, but don't be afraid to call somebody because where you're losing the plot, they're, they're seeing you lose it and they're able to bring you out of it. Um, and it, you could have certain underlying issues. I'm thankful that I don't. Um, but some people have underlying, underlying issues that I haven't addressed. And I think, uh, I think a lot of the anxiety that um, high functioning people with anxiety, it's just a, just know like things are, who gives a shit? You'll be all right. Stop giving a shit. And it's just programming yourself not to give a shit. The more you flow with life, life flows with you. It really is like that. Because when you're not an emotional, invested in, everything which anxiety does cause you to be emotionally invested, life will skip you by and you can't see it because you are what you think and you and essentially you see what you think. So certain situations come up, it's all you're seeing. You're just like, if you're an anxious person about, I don't know, going on a bus and riding a bus somewhere, you think, oh, well, the bus might crash and you might something might happen to you, and then you're gonna, all you're gonna see is like, that could happen, and maybe it will happen one day, but maybe it won't, who knows? But you're gonna be so preoccupied with it that you're not gonna see it. Like, maybe it will happen, maybe, pfft, maybe you're gonna be so occupied with um, that happening that something else will happen to you because you were overlooking something, and then an accident will happen, and, some stupid stuff like that, but not to ramble on. Just, you gotta, gotta like, gotta get over your shit. And each and every little thing that you get over, you'll get stronger. So I'm gonna leave it here, I rambled on. Um, 
I don't feel like editing these videos. Because the less I do for these videos, the more I'll do them. Um, because I'm not, I, I don't want to have to sit and edit videos. I, I do so much other crap with my life that is like constantly at a high level that I don't care about perfecting YouTube videos when these things are here for you and I'm talking to you and I know you're probably just working or you're passing by something and you just want some sort of like friendly ear and I'm just giving you that unedited, um, straight up, no bullshit. Um, and I hope you guys get something out of this. Like and subscribe. And remember, a mental breakdown is your body telling you something and take something from it. Don't look at it like a bad thing. Look at it like a gift.